Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. Thank you so much for joining me today. It really does mean a lot to me. So today's video is going to be quite a fun video. So do you know those reaction videos that are always going around? I thought, yeah, those reaction videos that are always going around, I thought, how much fun would it be to look at my earliest video that I did on YouTube um, and try and create that look? Now, I haven't got the eyeshadow palette, but I've got everything else still um, in the collection, which is amazing, really, considering it's, it's from 2016. Um, the first one was a Get Ready With Me using the Kylie Bronze palette, but I, re I soon realised it was a fake, so I actually got rid of that. Um, yeah, someone sold me a fake. Um, so, we're going to be following this video best we can. I do have how many products? So I have three of the original products and then we're just going to use a different eyeshadow palette. And the really great thing about this is I've got the same brushes. So, yes, we're going to do that. So, um, I've got my, obviously my face base on. I haven't put bronzer on so let me go and do that right so I've just put the tiniest amount of bronzer on because in that footage which you'll see it, it looks like I'm barely wearing any bronzer but I do say I've got my um, face like my face base on foundation and bronzer now I don't know if I wore a primer back then I don't know if I wore like um Powder, like a, a war powder I don't know about that but I've done it anyway because I do now um so basically let's move forward um right so what we're going to do first is I applied this first so it's it's a it's a video using Colourpop products and also an eyeshadow palette um so it's not a full face or anything um but we're just gonna have a little bit of a laugh about how I applied things and I don't know what she was thinking guys she applied blusher with this it's a setting it's a setting brush for goodness sake anyway this is jellyfish the only reason and behind it I can think of is is it's a really pigmented blush but surely she like I know now I would probably go in with something like this like a stippling brush um, I obviously didn't know that much about makeup back then um, thanks to YouTube you brought me up to date so I put the tiniest amount on but it oh is my God, pigmented I'm blush on with a highlighter brush what am I doing I may have gone a little overboard so I'm just trying to blend it out with the, with the other side of this <laughs> Brush. No change there then Andrea. Because I just want that natural flush look. You're just making it worse. Right, so that's okay for that. And right, so I've just put the tiniest amount of bronze around because in that footage, which you'll see, it, it looks like I'm barely wearing any bronzer, but I do say I've got my um face like my face base on foundation and bronzer now I don't know if I wore a primer back then I don't know if I wore like um pout like a, a wore powder I don't know about that but I've done it anyway because I do now um so basically let's move forward um right so what we're gonna do first is I applied this first so it's it's a it's a video using Colourpop products and also an eyeshadow palette. Um, so it's not a full face or anything, um, but we're just going to have a little bit of a laugh about how I applied things. And I don't know what she was thinking, guys. She applied blusher with this. It's a setting. It's a setting brush, for goodness sake. Anyway, this is jellyfish. The only reason and behind it I can think of is is it's a really pigmented blush but surely she like i know now i would probably go in with something like this like a stippling brush um i obviously didn't know that much about makeup back then um thanks to youtube 
you brought me up to date. So I put the tiniest amount on, but it is pigmented. Can you see how pigmented it is? I'm going to put some on this side as well. Then she blended it out with the other side. I'm saying she, I mean me. Then she went in with more. Right, we're going to leave it there, I think. And with, for the highlighter, I'm going to try this Zoeva fan brush. It's only a tiny brush. Um, I don't actually mind putting a little bit on, a little bit more on of the highlighter because I like being highlighted. Yeah. If that's even a word. No change there as well. Lit. So that just goes on the the, the cheekbones there, the highest point. I think we all know where highlighter goes, Andrea. I'm talking like I'm a third person. And look at my hair as well. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad hairdo. And then I normally put a, a little bit on the tip of my nose. And my cupid's bow. And just blend that out a little bit. Yeah, that looks fine. Right, and then she went in with a fan brush. I had an Eco Tools one. I don't think I've got that anymore. So we're going to be using the Real Techniques one, which is actually better. Actually, no, it wasn't an Eco Tools one. It was a really rubbish Zoeva one. It's the only Zoeva brush I've ever had that I didn't like. So we're going to go in with Lunch Money, um, which is part of Project Pan. So it just gives me a chance to use it. So that's what it's looking like. Now normally I would set the face first, I don't even think she knew what setting spray was in 2016 and this is quite pigmented so you don't need it. And I don't know how I'm going to edit this um, footage, to be honest. I see a lot of people who do these kind of videos and they have a screen of the older footage, um, like in the video. I don't know how to do that. I'm using Windows Movie Maker, so I don't think you can actually do that on Windows Movie Maker. Um, so I'm just going to have to edit it the best I can. In the video I was using a palette from eBay, I don't have it anymore, I said that palette was amazing, do not listen to 2016 Andrea, um, it, it wasn't amazing, some of the eyeshadows were really really dry, um, so yeah I, I don't like it, um, so I've got this one. My sister bought me this one year for my birthday from Amazon. So this is very very similar, it has very similar shades in it, I want to try it out. So first of all, she went in with a shade like this one, um, was it that one? Yeah, that's the lighter one out of the two in this palette. So that's called Matte Rossi, um, and I've still got the brush we used back then. So we're using this tie brush, and this went all over the lid. In fact, I want to follow this down to the letter so I'm gonna get my phone because I've got all the files on my phone. Gonna... Yeah going with that colour all over the lid. Right. It's just a, um kind of a base colour really. So this is a tight brush I got it with um a tight palette that I got quite a while ago. So yeah just that these eyeshadows don't have names on them. Um some of them can be a bit hit and miss, some of them can be really powdery, but 
overall, um, I think they're really, really good for the money. So I'm just, I'll zoom you in. That would be a start. Right, so we don't have that so palette. So I just so normally put it on all over the lid. Right, just let me speak. I don't have that palette, so we can't use it. But I'm going to try and, and find the similar colours. Pigmented eyeshadows I've ever used. Um, but if you're just looking for something cheap and you know usable, I guess is the right word. Um, and you don't have much money to spend, I think these are really, really great. She just does not come up for air, does she? I didn't realise I was like that. I would recommend them anyway. I wouldn't recommend that palette. It's, it's not a great palette, so don't listen to me. I mean, look at the pigmentation. There is there's zero pigmentation there. What are you talking about? Right. So then I tend to go in with a darker colour in the crease. Um, so which colour should, should we use? I should have used that colour on the, all over the eyes really. I'm sure that's the colour I normally use and then I go in with, with the colour that I've just used. But live and learn. So now what we're going to have to do is I'll go in with this, this brown here. Turn my brush around. I'll go in with that brown. That can be a crease colour. Why or oh why I'm not using the blending brush of this tie brush, I don't know. I'm just using like the flat packer brush. It's just so strange. Amphia in 2016 created this look. Now there are fallout, um, but with cheap eyeshadows you always get that anywhere. So that's not a big deal and you can just wipe it off um, with a powder brush at the end. Yeah, we all know that. Or you, you can do your eyes before you do put your foundation and your face makeup on, whichever you really, whichever suits you best. That's a given. Um, get back to the makeup. Okay, so it's a good job I checked. I was actually going to be using the wrong side of the brush. So, that side of the brush, um, instead of the blending side, all over the lid. Right, so this is already creasing. didn't think I ever wore mats all over the lid, obviously I was mistaken, but I'd only ever wore like shimmers and I can't, I don't know how far it was taken up, so I'm just going to go back and look at the video, here I am. You'll get to see all this footage though, so I'm not just going to show it yet. Um, just applying the the eyeshadow. Right, so then we went in with a brown. I mean, I'm not too sure. They're, they're quite similar, them two shades, so I'm going to have to go in with quite a dark brown, I think. We're going to have to go in with Matte Moscow Wits, or Witch, um, I don't know how you pronounce it. And again, same, same brush. I don't know why I didn't use this side. It's a blending brush. You, I was using that as blending. Oh gosh. 
So yeah, I don't want to use that side because I didn't use that side at the time. Right, that'll do. I don't want to go in too much with that brown. Maybe a bit more for the left eye. Um, okay, what's the next step? For crease, I tend to use an even darker brown just to give my eyes a little bit more of a definition. Am I actually going with this really nice ready brown which is it reminds me of autumn um, so I'm just gonna go in with that side again and put that there so when you're doing that just make sure it actually goes on the line there on the crease and if you can tilt your head back it probably looks really gross but I've got hooded eyes and my crease isn't defined at all so i've got to work that little bit harder with it she was a lot more confident in using reds than that i am now i'm getting older i guess so just blend that out until it's as blended as you want it i might just go in with a tiny bit more she's packing that red on isn't she What I'm just going for quite a simple look. Nothing too out there. Nothing too out there. It's red eyeshadow on there. Yeah, so that's the one eye done. So now I'll do the left eye. The left eye I always find tricky. I've got a stigma in this left eye and can never get it as good as the right eye. Right, so now um, she's saying she's going to go in with a ready brown, but it wasn't a ready brown, it was red. Um, it was a shade similar to this. Oh, she was fearless back then with red. Um, so, yeah. Oh, that looks pigmented. Just scared. And she went in quite a lot. So, just in the crease. Right, so um, she was like, I was packing red on like a lot in 2016 in that particular video, but the pigmentation wasn't like this. Um, so I think we're going to blend it in a little bit just to get kind of like a same, a similar effect. Um, and yeah, I think we'll do that. Those eyeshadows. Um, that was from eBay, weren't pigmented at all, so yeah, let's, I really don't like this already, maybe when it's blended in it won't look too bad, and I've not even done my brows, I don't think she did a, I don't think I did my brows back then. And now they're the one, they're one of the most important steps in my makeup routine. Um, so then, she went in with La La. The camera must have cut out like it does sometimes with me. Um, and it wasn't filmed to put in this on, but you can see it on the eyes. And we did mention it as well. So let's go in with La La. I'll just use my fingers with this. Such a beautiful rose gold shade so all over the lid not use the shade for the longest time might have to put some more brown over that red because i'm sure on the look that i created it wasn't looking as red as that um so yeah but that might make it muddy and we'll see Okay, so that's enough of La La gone on. Let's get back to the video. Right, so at this point, 
The camera's obviously we stopped. Just kind of bring it out a little bit. Then do the same on the other eye. I still say wing it out. Can't believe it. I still say let's wing it out a little bit. Yeah, so the camera must have stopped because she's got all her lid shade down. Or I've got all my lid shade down. It's la la. So we'll just have to make sure that the camera doesn't stop this second time around um, when I'm recreating the look I'm and make kind it of better. Blending it, blending it out so it doesn't look harsh. I have to say I'm really liking that rose gold um, eyeshadow. It re kind of reminds me of the Kathleen Lights one I've got. Um, I can't remember the name of that. I'll leave that down below. Um, I'm loving that Kathleen Lights um, eye quad I got. I got. Right, so now it looks like she's gone in with a brown for the lash line. So let's use the lightest one and see how we feel about that. Um, if it's too light then we can always go on with that darker one and we use this brush back then I think she started off with that but realised she wasn't getting very far I think I am going to just try and put some more brown um, but I'm going to go in with this side, the, the actual blending brush it's just the lightest brown, it's kind of like just to blend out the shade and not make it as red because it didn't look that red um, when she, did, when she um, finished the look Right, I think that's looking more like it. Is this my sporty, fabulous lash? I mean, it's okay. Um, it's not great. I mean, normally I use the Kiko Ex Extra Sculpt in Waterproof. Um, and I've been trying the Miss Sporty eyeliner as well. And that's okay. It's not great. I normally use um, the Gel Super Shock in black from Avon right for mascara she went in with a Miss Sporty mascara Miss Sporty doesn't exist in the UK anymore um, so I don't have anything from Miss Sporty but I've got something from collection they were around the same price point um, so we'll just use the normal mascara that I've been using this volumizing one which is probably better than the Miss Sporty one anywhere Right, and now I'm going to see if I used a eyeliner back then. Right, so now I'm choosing a lipstick. This is going to be fun. Let's see what lipstick I she chooses. I think I'm going to choose this one. Some, well, a lot of YouTubers are saying this one is like Mary Jo. Um, I did some swatches last night um, and compared Mary Jo against this one. My Mary Jo that I've got, I don't know whether I've got a dud or, or what, um, but it's nothing like this, um, there's like two shades, my Mary Jo is two shades darker than this one and this is in the shade Creeper, um, so yeah I mean I love this red, if I'm being completely honest I love this more than Mary Jo and Mary Jo was I think $30 or something like that Mary Jo um, so I just is a Kylie lipstick, she's failing to tell line, you that. But I don't have one here with me at the moment, so hopefully it will go okay. Right, so that's the lipstick. So yeah, like we're saying, um, the Mary Jo, she's referring to from Kylie Cosmetics. I bought that and then this lipstick from Colourpop was meant to be a dupe for it, um, which she hasn't said the name of it but it's called creeper um i've only recently decluttered that from the collection it's gonna go into 
a lipstick declutter so you'll see that very soon as well but this is the finished look i don't think she's done a bad job um my technique is definitely improved where eyeshadow's concerned um and i i I don't think she's done the best job or I, I did the best job back then um, in filming because she's lost half the footage and I know I do that still sometimes but it's not often because I, be, I keep checking the camera she, she's using the same camera as I'm using now um, and obviously right so um no eyeliner but we don't need it anyway as we've got like kind of some eyeshadow on the lash line the only thing i would use it for is to tie a line with um lipstick she went in with next so she used creeper by colourpop i do still have it but if she used it in that video which was 2016 i do not feel comfortable putting it on my lips um so it's four years old and the last time i wore it i wore it this month i just didn't realize it was four years old when i put it on the lips and it was smearing everywhere so it's probably expired so what i was thinking is this is a similar shade but it's a gloss and i need to test this anyway so it's the kiko 3d instant volume plumping and refreshing lip gloss looks like that so we'll just use this Obviously the lip is going to look different, but the eye look pretty much looks the same. Oh, it really is plumping. I can feel like that mintiness tingling with this lip gloss. Right, so the lash line looks darker, so we're going to have to go in with that darker brown I mentioned, um, Matt Moskowitz. I don't know even if that's how you pronounce it. Just to make, just to like darken it up a little bit. Just wing it out a bit. And then I did notice her eyebrows, well like my eyebrows, was fairly darker. It was darker than this anyway, or they look darker. So all I'm going to do is I'm not going to go in with a brow gel because I don't think I would have used brow gel back then. So I'm just going to go in with this Revolution brow pencil. The one that I'm using, I think I should have gone in my eye now. The one that I'm using now in Project Pan. So we'll use this. Just brush the brows out first. And she didn't put any um, highlighter in the inner corners, so I'm not going to do that. Whoops. Right, I think that's it, just let me go and check the video. Yeah, that's definitely it guys, it was a very simple look. Um, I think we're a bit darker on the crease there, but that's just because the eyeshadow palette that I was using back in 2016 was absolutely rubbish. Um, if you're noticing a difference with the like audio in this video as well, I went back to old videos. Like I watched the one that is going to be in this like footage in in this video, um, and it sounded better. The quality sounded better, and I'm like, is it because it's in HD? I mean, I've got one of those XD SD cards for my camera, and it's supposed to record in HD anyway. But it always says. Like when I was when I'm uploading the file, it's an SD, you know, card. So um, I thought, well, is it hey, is it recording in HD or isn't it, you know? Um, and then I looked at older footage and it sounded so much clearer, so much nicer. And the only difference I could think of is um, have a microphone that just slots into the horseshoe on the camera. Um, so I put that on and. Then then I've slotted the external light just underneath the um, microphone 
so it should sound a little bit clearer i hope it doesn't sound tinny once i used it and it sounded really tinny so i just put it away i do really want to get one of those rode microphones they're meant to be really really good um i think they're quite expensive though so for now i'm just going to be using this one i got my microphone i think from ebay quite a long time ago um so i am definitely due an upgrade um so yeah this is the finished look guys obviously i could do the blend here but it's kind of the way she did her makeup back then so i don't really want to touch it once i've filmed this and edited it then i can start kind of blending it out a little bit better in fact i'll probably just do that when i come off camera um especially here so yeah it's not too bad of a look i don't think i think this lipstick is better than the mary mary jo um the creeper lipstick by colourpop especially as it started smearing but that could have been due to it being an expired lipstick i don't ever remember me having a hard time with that lipstick um but obviously when lipsticks expire you know the ingredients don't work so well so this is the video guys thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoy it it's just another different video for the channel um I have seen a lot of these videos over the years um, but mainly videos where YouTubers just look at their first video that they ever uploaded and kind of like criticised it a little bit which is what I've done in my clips but I thought I would also recreate the look as well, recreate one of the first ever looks on the channel. If you do want to see the first look I think it was the get ready with me using the Kylie bronze palette I will I will put that in the card so you can go and check that out um i wish i would have done something at that time like a what's in my makeup bag um because then i could have known what tools i used if i used an eyeshadow primer because i can't remember it was four years ago that i did this look so i don't know what i would have used i don't know what foundation i would have used what um primers i would have used if i used any i don't know if i used a setting spray so i've not used a setting spray normally i would use a setting spray like before i use my highlighter um just to make it pop that little bit more but i couldn't do that because i didn't know if in 2016 i used setting sprays i don't think i did back then um and i don't know if i used face primers um so yeah um it was a little bit tricky because i'd already had my foundation and base makeup on and obviously i put bronzer on but i went in it really really lightly i used the imagination um highlight to the moon palette and yeah i've just gone in really really lightly you can barely see it um you can't see a lot of bronzer on myself back back then either so i think i recreated it quite well i mean what do you guys think um so yeah again that's it thank you oh, so MG, much for watching so cringy to watch but i think it's going to be funny for you guys to see um just how terrible i was back then and also for me to recreate this look it's a simple look like i said i don't have the palette from ebay i'm not going to be buying it because it's a terrible palette don't listen to my 2016 self it's not recommended i do have another palette like it that has a red shade like the one um, I used here. So we'll be using that and then we'll be using La La. We'll be using Lunch Money. So I've still got that and I've still got the blush as well. So, I mean, if this was in 2016 and I've still got them, I should really be thinking about decluttering them, shouldn't I? But they still look really nice and creamy. Um, and while they're still really nice and creamy, I don't want to declutter them um but yeah um this is the video guys